What happened to Jesus's body after he was buried? What happened to Jesus' body after Jerusalem saw him crucified on a cross and then he was buried? Because picture this, all these people watching Jesus suffer on the cross, hearing about what he had done, knowing for three years a little bit about him and the miracles that he did. Now you come to this time where he's dead on the cross. Spear goes through his side and they take him down, they bury him. Now, three days later, Sunday morning, you go from Friday night to Sunday morning, okay? All of a sudden, there are rumors the disciples saw Jesus alive. And they're saying, come on. If you had been one of those people in Jerusalem, knowing that Jesus was buried, and you didn't believe that idea that Jesus actually rose from the dead and appeared to the disciples, what would you have done? You'd have probably said, let's go to the tomb, let's check out and see if the body's still there. Daryl, when we talk about what happened to Jesus' body, we know he was honorably buried, he was put into a tomb, and on the third day the disciples said he was alive and they had seen him. He was appearing to them and he appeared for over 40 days to different people. When the skeptics say it never happened, how do they deal with this thing of the empty tomb? Well, what they do is they say that the disciples had some kind of experience that persuaded them in their minds that something miraculous had happened to Jesus. And this usually reduces itself down to some type of form of hallucination or psychological persuasion, self-persuasion, something like that. That's usually where where it lands. And what's interesting is, is that the evidence for the transformation of the disciples and the emergence of the Christian movement, even to the point of being willing to die for what they believed is such, that they have to explain something happened to the disciples that took them from despair to having this kind of boldness. And so something has to, has to have taken place. And really, your, your two options are there was a resurrection or there was this self-persuasion that happened within the community as a group. The difficult thing with that theory is that very corporate element of the equation. One person might be able to be brought out of despair and have this experience, but that doesn't mean that everybody has that experience. And so the fact that so many people had it at the same time means that the more likely experience is the resurrection.